Hey everybody, Joel the Pirate here. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. And uh, thanks to y'all's suggestions. Damn dog. Uh, he's my co-pilot. What's up, buddy? He's right, he's right here next to me. Uh, been pimping out the truck. Got a turbo wing and I got a new bumper. It's hard to see from this angle. Uh, new new turbo or new bumper. It's got lights across the bottom. Anyway, sitting on $140,000 right now and trying to make a little bit of progress here. So what I uh, what I found, I happened to be in San Diego, and I found this place, and it is for sale. Uh, unfortunately, let me pull forward just here, uh, just a skosh. This garage is available for one hundred and eighty thousand. Regrettably, you cannot afford to buy it right now, which means I need to do a little bit more grinding. But um, yeah, I think. I think I'm going to do a little bit of grinding, and uh, we're going to buy ourselves a garage, a three-bay garage. We'll be able to hire uh, new drivers, maybe get another truck uh, going. I'll probably have to take out a loan for that one, especially if I'm going to spend $180,000 on, uh, on the garage. But it is time for me to, uh, to get on the road. Yeah, and uh, make a little bit of money. So y'all hang on tight, and uh, we'll be back with a little bit of progress here. All right, kids. Um, please pardon the background noise. My air conditioner going on. It's summertime, so welcome to air conditioning season. Uh, you may hear that in a video or a million, but deal with it. Um, we're coming up on one of these instances where the uh, the map is really, really trolly. Um, it's telling me that I need to get off here, when in fact I really don't. Um, let's zoom in here. If you look at this, it's telling me to get off here, go through all these twists and turns, and then get on this road here. I'm going to skip it, go to the next exit. It's a lot more direct shot uh, eventually than, you know, and, and I could even go all the way down uh, through San Diego, but that's a lot more twists and turns. And these roads are really twisty uh, down here. But, yeah, you don't always trust your GPS. It will send you on some of the dumbest shit. Um, that you've ever seen, especially when you get over towards San Francisco, like, um, here, this, this little, this little, uh, detour that the GPS took me on to get to, to the, get to this place when all I had to do was stay on the main highway. This, this, this road, by the way, was like one, not even a one lane road. It was like a three quarter lane road. It was so tight. It sucked. If I would have just stayed on the main highway, I could have done 55 the whole damn way and popped off there. Never trust your GPS completely. Always look at your route and, and adjust accordingly. Like I said, here here this is one of those instances where it wants me to get off here and do all these twists and turns when I'm just going to take this straight shot and deal with it. Uh, right now, I'm on my second load. Uh, the first load was uh, an $8,000 job. Uh, this one is, a, I believe, a $16,000 job. And it's going to be, I'm going to be pushing it. Um, you can see my, my, my guy here is, is getting tired, uh, and it still says I've got six hours to go. So I may end this one, um, really, really tired. If I can get my, my ETA down to about eight o'clock, then I will have a chance to, uh, chance to sleep and still be able to deliver by, uh, by five o'clock PM on Friday, you know, so I got 11 hours basically to play with, uh, and it's going to take me six hours to finish the run. So mathematically, I've only got five hours to sleep. But this game makes you sleep like nine hours. So if I were to do that, it was it would put me over the limit, which I don't want to do. So you got to really be, you got to watch your time. Right now, I'm speeding. Uh, I've got my cruise control set at 58 miles an hour. And yeah, so oh, was that my exit? Holy crap, did I just miss my exit? I missed my exit. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, we're going to go down to this next one. Hey, that might actually be better. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a little longer, but it's going to be better than stopping in the middle of the road. That's what I get for talking and driving at the same damn time. Oh, well. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> going down to the next one. I'm just going to put the hammer down. Speed limits be damned. So, <sighs> hopefully I don't lose too much off this. All righty. Well, we are back on track now. Uh, I did detour uh, just to that first road and come back. It was 30 mile an hour. 
and I lost pretty much all the time I saved from that thing. So, you know, that's what I get for not paying attention. But uh, the point is, you can still make... Uh, you can still make a lot of changes to your route and still be okay. You just have to to look at the route instead of just trusting the GPS. The, trust me, this GPS is super trolly and uh, it will lead you into some really messed up stuff. So yeah, just cooking on down the road here. Um, now, I, like I said, I have, I have kind of discovered that 58 miles an hour uh, will keep you out of trouble with the police. Um, I would, you know, I haven't tested it on severe downhill slopes, so I would watch your speed going down those. I have seen my speed get up to as high as 63 or 64, and I'm pretty sure the cops will bust you for that. But there's 58, 59. Let's set it at 59 for right now. I don't know if the cops will bust me for that, but, you know, I really want to make up a lot of time. Oh, see, there's a cop right there, and he ain't busting me for 59. That's good to know. And that's 60, and he isn't busting me. Hey, that's pretty good. Scientifically, that is. And like I said, now if I get up into the 63, 64 area, I have no doubt that he would he would bust me. Um, but for now, yeah, 59, 60. Well, let's see. Can he bust me from this far away? I don't know if he can or not. 61. I'm just going to let it go. Let's see what happens here. 62. Either he can't bust me or he's not going to bust me. Either way, that's cruise control set at 59 in a 55 mile an hour zone, so that's going to save me a shit ton of time, and I'm going to take it. Um, I'm low on fuel. Well, I'm not low on fuel. I guess my fuel gauge, my fuel gauge is right here. I keep an eye on it. It's it's a little easier to read than this thing because that is just not bright enough for me. But I can see I got just just over a quarter of a tank. Um, and I'm really tired. Um, and four hours and 180 miles to go. Fuel-wise, I think we're good. I don't think I'm going to have to mess with that at all. It, it's just the sleep thing. Um, when this gets all the way to the top, it will turn red. And when it turns red, uh, it will start flashing messages on your sat-nav here to, uh, to pull over and get some rest as quickly as possible. And then eventually, you will start to nod off. Like, the screen will just completely go black while you're driving down the road. I've had it happen. Scary as all hell. Luckily, I am not wrecked because of it. I've been on straight sections of road. Uh, so when it goes red, uh, it's time to, to start thinking ahead. I mean, look at that map. See where your uh, your rest stops are, and and plan accordingly. Uh, in fact, let's look at that map real quick here. Um, I've got a rest stop there. I can see it in the blue. I got a rest stop there in the blue. It's gonna be close. I'm gonna ignore this one, but if it turns red before this one, then I will stop. If it doesn't turn red, I'm going for it. So that's gonna be my plan. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Hang on tight, kids. It's going to be a bumpy ride. All right. Well, I did get popped for speeding at 59, I will say. <laughs> um, so 50, I, I put it, kicked it back to 58. Now, I passed this rest stop. Now, it didn't matter anyway because it was, it was a one-way rest stop. I could only get to it going, uh, going westbound. But going eastbound here, um, I'm... I'm going to have to stop at this one no matter how much I don't want to. And I'm going to have to take the late penalty uh, on my delivery. That's the biggest thing is is the late penalty. Uh, my sleep monitor there, you can see on my sat-nav, is in the red. And my guy is already starting to yawn. So it, I'm going to have to stop no matter how much I don't want to. Hopefully, it's not going to be a pain in the butt to get in and out of. We'll, uh, we'll hang out together until that happens. I just hope I don't pass out on the way there. This guy with this freaking bulldozer needs to go, though. You need to go, bruh. Go, bruh. Hurry up. Daylight's burning. Daylight's burning. All right. Swing it wide here. This guy needs to go, and we're off. And 30 mile an hour zone. Which, the best I've been able to pull in a 30 mile an hour zone is 32. Uh, so i got to be careful of downhill slopes on these, too. I, you know, I've already spent like $2,500 in speeding tickets. So that is, um, yeah, it's really going to mess up the profit margin on this delivery. You know, as, as hard as I'm pushing to get this, uh, this new garage, if I keep spending all my money on 
uh, speeding tickets and things like that, it's not going to do me any good. And a late penalty uh, is m worth taking if I don't have to wreck the truck. <laughs> so, yeah, let's pull it over. Let's get some rest. Yeah. Five o'clock is when my delivery was due, and it is now late. So we're just going to have to deal with that. Uh, our customer expects the delivery very, very soon. Thank you for notifying me of that game. I didn't know that. Thanks. Uh, I was paying attention. No, tell me I wasn't. Stupid game. All right. Now I got to wait to get out of the damn parking lot here. Oh, one cop after another. Really? I need to lay the hammer down so I can reduce this damn late penalty. It is based on time, by the way. However late you are, the later you are, the more you have to pay uh, for a late penalty. So, yeah. So, my delivery is... Where are we at here? It was due at 5 o'clock, and it is now 7 o'clock. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... That's kind of a cool shot right there, yeah. That's cool. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm really going to have to lay the hammer down here and uh, hope for the best. I'm not sure exactly how much my late penalty is going to be. Again, the job, I, all the profit margin for this job is pretty much out the freaking window. I, I'm going to have to get me a really high-paying job. Uh, may go back to the gallon petroleum hauling that fuel. Those guys really paid a lot of money. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back into Nevada. As much as I don't want to. I mean, yeah, they have the 70 mile an hour speed limits up there, but they also have the uh, really twisty, turny roads, which kind of sucks. I've been sticking to the uh, the California coast as much as possible. Did my, no, I didn't set my cruise control. I thought I did. Um, I've been trying to stick to the uh, California coast here because the, the running on the super slab is really nice. 56, 57, let's set it to 58. There we go. Hopefully no other cops get us at 58. I haven't gotten popped at 58 yet, but that's not to say it won't happen. we got to be careful on these roads, so I'm going to have to do a little crossing over of the lanes. Sorry, everybody. Don't mind me. I'll be out of your way in a minute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I I'm just laying the hammer down and uh, trying to get through this. Where are we at here? Uh, 40 miles in an hour to go. <sighs> Boy, I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. We're gonna we're gonna hang out together through the end of this delivery because we haven't hung out for a delivery any. I hope that's not a cop. <laughs> and if a cop does see me, I hope he sees me going uphill so that the speed is minimized. <laughs> All right. And let's hug the inside corner. And let's bring it out wide. Hug the inside corner. Bring it out wide. Keep, keep maximize that speed, kids. Maximize that speed. And we're 18 miles west. So we're not far. Oh, and I see the the, the map on or the uh, the flag on the map here. So we're, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to be in this lane. Yeah, we do. Oh, this four-way stop sucks. Oh God. If there was ever a need for a, a, a stop stop light anywhere, it's this place. No, actually, no. The one in Tonopa. Tanopa, whatever the hell it is. That one is the most needed stop sign in the history of all history. Ugh, that place sucks. I'm sure we'll get there in today's episode because I'm going to have to go back to Nevada to make any real money off this trip. Go. Go, dummy. Go. I'm going. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, damn. That almost sucked. Okay, you guys are waiting. I'm going. I'm going. Screw you guys. Anybody coming? Yep, one guy, but he'll wait. Okay. Whoop! There goes a the sign. <laughs> hey, no damage occurred. Ooh, that's nice. That never happens. I always get damaged when I hit signs. I've hit a few signs. It's no big deal. They're cheap. City will replace them. <laughs> okay, and I made it with plenty of gas to spare, but we're, uh, we're like four hours late, so that really sucks. Um... Let's see what they're going to want me to do here to park this thing. I may not even bother, just because we're already late. <sighs> no, we're not. We're skipping it. I, I'm late. Yep, I'm late. I know. How much did it cost me? 1200 bucks. So I only made 15 grand off of that load, which really sucks. 
I didn't get near enough XP off the deal. What the hell ever. Ugh. World map. Where the hell am I? I don't even know where I am. I'm in El Centro. Ugh. Uh, which is cool because my the, the shop I want to buy is in San Diego, but we are not anywhere near needing or ready to buy that place yet. So let's go to El Centro. Let's, uh, are we anywhere here? Nope, let's back up a couple. Elko, LA, Elko, El Centro. Here we go. Um, sorting these alphabetically by origin is really nice. Okay, so. Oh, I am not going to Eureka. Oh, no. Uh, and don't go to Redding. These mountain roads up here in Northern California, those suck so bad. I'm not doing them. I, I, I just, I just, no, huh? Elko to Barstow. No, wait, no. I want El Centro. Damn, they're going to give me one of these. Ooh, that's not a bad one. El Centro to Carson City for a plow. Not bad, actually. That's going to put me in a lot of California, or a little bit of California and a lot of Nevada, so I'll be able to lay some hammer down on that. All right, I'm going to head over to that place, and then uh, we'll, we'll hook up, and then, then we'll come back and see what we got to work with. Get me out of this place. I hate this place. <laughs> Alrighty, well, this trip is not starting off well. Uh, I'm almost out of gas. Uh, I just smacked into one of yawn guardrails, so now my engine is about busted. <laughs> so I have to, I'm gonna have to detour and uh, visit a service station uh, as soon as I find a service station. Um, it, it, I've had this issue before where the, uh, ooh, hello, uh, where the game will actually, the truck will actually shut off. If you don't get to the service station soon enough, and I do not want that to happen. Now, I do have a little bit of leeway. Okay, let's get some fuel. Uh, I have had, uh, again, I've had this issue where the truck will actually shut off. And we do have a little bit of leeway on this particular delivery. As soon as I'm fueled up here, uh, we'll stop and take a look at it. Yes, I am uh, enjoying an adult beverage while I drive my digital truck, which I promised I wasn't going to do anymore, but... And then I just hit a guardrail. So, I'm not a good role model. I never claim to be, by the way. <laughs> just just so you know. Uh, so, our truck... Where are we at here? Uh, our, our delivery doesn't have to be there till 4.30 a.m. on Sunday. Uh, currently... Our uh, ETA is 1:48 p.m. on Saturday, so we will have a we will have the option of one uh, overnight stop for sleep, which we're not quite tired yet. Uh, maybe by the time this gets down to about eight hours, maybe ten, it'll be time to sleep. I don't have to worry about fuel anymore, but I am going to have to take a look at the uh, at the the map here and see where a service station is going to be. Uh, and it doesn't look like, ah, that looks like that is going to be our our service station of choice there once we get to Prim. Um, but that's going to be in a couple hundred miles. That's not going to be a fun trip, especially if this truck starts shutting off. Uh, I don't expect it to, um, but that doesn't mean it won't. So let me get out of this fuel, fuel depot here. Oop, too, too, too tight, too tight. Ah, we're good. We're good. There's nobody coming. Hopefully. Nope. Nobody coming. Woo, we win. All right. I will see you in Prim. Alrighty. Well, coming up on Prim here, and uh, my shop is right up above, or right up ahead, and it also appears that there is a rest stop there, which is a welcome sight because uh, my guy is getting tired, and we are at the 9 o'clock hour. So I'm going to pull in here, hopefully get this truck. Woo, Hello. Didn't mean to kill it. I killed it. Sorry. Um, we'll get this truck serviced, hopefully. Um, I'm wondering. Ooh, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Watch this shit. This is, uh, this is how we're going to do this. I'm going uh, to get the truck fixed, and I'm going to rest, and I'm going to do it all without uh, jacking with this freaking trailer, because getting into these truck, sho or truck shops with a trailer is a big pain in the gigantic took us. So... Oh, shut up. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not right. Ooh. Don't hit the building, Joe. Ooh. There was some There was some driving. All right. Got lucky there. All right. I just want to pull around to the other side here just a tiny little bit, if you don't mind. There we go.
Okay, right there. Good enough. Let's go ahead and get the rest first. We'll do that. And then I'm going to uncouple the trailer. Yeah. And then we'll pull across the street and do my thing. And then I'll come back, recouple the trailer. Oh, yeah. See how I'm talking? See what I'm doing here? Okay, I can probably shut the lights off. It's that time of day. All right. Now let's go in and get this truck fixed up. Boop. Enter. Okay, let's fix the truck. How much is this going to cost me? Oh, only 800 bucks. <laughs> That's not horrible. All right. And I don't need to do any upgrades or anything, so ain't no thing there. All right, now let's back the truck up. Back the truck up. Look out, Paul. She's backing up. And can we do this slick like? We can. Oh, yeah, look at me go. And over here. Oh, yeah. Slick. Nope, I don't want it. Attach the trailer and on our way. And that, my friends, is how that shit is done. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. I will see you when we get to our destination. Hopefully, there will be no more mishaps. Uh, I will try to be a good boy. And uh, let's see here. We're, 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 let's uh, let's take a moment to uh, see what we got. Our ETA is Saturday at 11 p.m. And it is expected Sunday at 4.30 a.m. So we have an extra five hours to play with. We are good. We don't have to hurry. We don't have to rush. I can set the, the cruise control for the speed limit and just enjoy the trip. Which I think is exactly what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to let these big wheels keep on turning and uh, keep on rolling down the highway. Keep on rolling down the highway. <laughs> We're rolling up into Elko, Nevada. Now, I um, started out this episode thinking that we wanted to uh, set up shop somewhere in San Diego because uh, you know we had that really really pretty <laughs> three bay garage and I thought that would be really really cool um, I have run a lot of sh of a lot of freight through Elko Nevada here and it has been a really good place um, well, it's been a good destination, I should say. Uh, there's there's a lot of freight in and out of uh, Elko, Nevada. So let's go ahead and pull a little quick, a little quick, a little quick. Uh, this has been a really good place to do this. This has been a really good place to... Uh... Aha, enter. Uh, 90. Uh, you know what? I just want to skip it because I want to talk to you guys. Okay, so satisfactory what did I screw up on uh, damage pen. oh I hit a guardrail when I when I picked up this trailer there was a little guardrail coming out of the, um, the the lot that I picked this trailer up in and so yeah so they dinged me for two grand for that eh, eh, what do you do so one hundred and eighty three thousand dollars should be enough to do exactly what it is I want to do Okay, so where are we? Um, let's look at the map. Elko, Nevada. Now, on my way over here, can I see you? Where are you? Right there. That is what I want. Um, I saw, I spy with my little eye. Um, how the f do I get out of here? I can't see anything. Okay, I see it. Okay, here's the out. Damn! Could they make this any freaking tighter and stupider and dumber and all that? Because I want to talk. And it's hard to talk. What? Damage 2% my ass! Oh, well, that's a good thing there. See, that's what I'm talking about. 
it's just these little things. These little things are costing me money. Uh, okay, let's get out of here because I want to buy something, damn it. And people want to see me buy it. All right. Uh, but no, as I have said, I get a lot of freight in and out of Elko, Nevada, and it's a really great destination and a good hub. Uh, so I think this is where I want to actually buy uh, the new JTP truck and garage. So I have set waypoint. You turn, turn. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, I have set waypoint to the new, new uh, hub. And I'm speeding. And it's okay. These things happen. I'll just coast. There we go. Okay. Done coasting. Cruise control set. All right. So, uh, new new place. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I just want to speed there and get there and be done with it. Oh, and stupid red light. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> we'll just wait. Um, but no, I have, uh, I have been trucking my butt off and trying to level this truck up and trying to level up myself. I'm, my leveling has not gone well, uh, mostly because I think I've been skipping all the trailer uh, drop-offs. So, get out of the way, you jackasses. The light's green. Um, cop, you didn't bust him. Son of a bitch, you bust me, but he don't bust them. I don't want a jackass. Um, oh, well, these things happen. See, now I'm going to get busted. I'm at 35 miles an hour. Break it. There we go. All right. So, yeah. I have uh, I, I've been leveling up. Um, I'm trying to... I have not been parking all the trailers is what I was trying to say. Um, I should have been, but in, in the interest of speed and time, uh, I didn't do it. So, yeah, uh, and I should have. So there's truck headquarters. There it is. And we've got a stoplight. That is a thing. That's important. Um, and I'm going to explain why here in a moment. What? Red signal my ass. Uh. See, stupid cops. These these guys, they they they're riding my ass over stupid shit like that. 183. Okay, I still have enough to buy it. I was going to be pissed if I didn't have enough to buy this, but that's fine. I have enough to buy it now. <sighs> Enter. Do you really want to buy this garage? Hell yes. Joe the Pirates new corporate headquarters. In Elko, Nevada. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're going to hire our, hire ourselves a new driver. Uh, we're going to get ourselves a new truck. And I'm ready to take a nap. <laughs> I'm telling you what, kids. This is pretty awesome. So, look at this. Oh, look at that house scenic with the sunset and everything. I can just screen, screenshot that shit. Uh, here, let's get get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Screenshot that again. And if you're not uh, if you're not following me on the uh, on on Steam, you're not gonna get these. So you should follow me on Steam, Joe the Pirate, by the way. Uh, and yeah, another screenshot. What the hell? <laughs> You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Uh, do me a favor. Hit that like button if you like. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all on the next episode. And we're going to work towards our new truck and our new driver. And we're going to rake in all the money. <laughs> yeah. It's on Elko, Nevada. We own this shit. That's right. Let's pull in. Papa needs to go to the bathroom. Sleeper, this truck ain't got a bathroom. Huh. Yeah, manage this garage. Oh, look at that. Oh, so good, so good. All right, everybody. We will see you next time, and then we will go through all this. Peace out.